250 meters. 150 meters. 100 meters. 80 meters. 50 meters. Constant loss of phase detected. Altitude 40 meters. 30 meters. 27 meters. 20 meters. 50 meters. Standing by for touchdown. Touchdown signal detected. Landing it. And in this sequence initiated. I think the epitaph for Phoenix is we had a great team, we had a great mission, we've accomplished something that was never accomplished before, landing north of an Arctic Circle or, or Antarctic Circle on another planet um, is an enormous success. I think it's historic.
team did an exceptional job. It's not every day you land a vehicle on Mars. Same was true for Mars Exploration Rover, same was true for Pathfinder, same was true for Viking. Well deserved, well deserved. And uh, I'm just proud to be uh, part of an exceptional team. We were born out of the failure of the Mars 98 lander, and um, a lot of people were rather negative. This mission shouldn't fly. Uh, the entry, descent, and landing system is proven to be failed. But uh, none of us truly believed that in our heart. We believed that if you could basically test something and work out all the bugs to the best of your ability, you can, you can make things right. So first and foremost, I think the legacy is that we've learned from our mistakes and we've shown how to do it right. Phoenix's greatest hits have been um, verification of ice, discovery of perchlorates, um, discovery or, or of organics, and uh, some of the clouds, in fact precipitating clouds and ground fogs that we've seen uh, at our lander site. There is so much data that we've collected and we've spent so much of our time collecting the data that we haven't had that much of an opportunity to analyze a lot of it. So we're going to continue analyzing this data for months and years to come.